Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic from the engineering graphics that is known as projection of line. This is a very very important topic and if you know how to solve this kind of problem, you will definitely pass in this subject without much efforts. So I want your complete attention while understanding the concept of projection of line. So we'll start with first point that is point above the HP. If any point which is present above the HP, I will give you some tricks so that you can directly implement those tips to solve this numerical. You don't require much understanding of all those things, but follow my tips and procedure. So if a point is present above the HP, so this blue plane represent the HP plane and this vertical plane, yellow plane is called as a vertical plane. So this is HP and this is VP. VP means vertical plane. HP means horizontal plane. They are placed at an angle of 90 degree. Suppose a point exists in the first quadrant. So it is above HP and in front of VP. So it located in the first quadrant. So to get more understanding, we will see the 2D view of this object. So this is the horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane. So point is present over here. So as the point is above HP, so it is above the HP. So this is the distance which is above the HP. And if you see from the front view, then only this distance is visible. And if you see this object from the top view, then this distance is not visible in the top view. So this distance is only visible from the front view. So first point you should note it down that distance from the HP is related to the front view only. So whenever the distance is given with respect to HP, we should utilize that distance for drawing the front view only. So that point you should note it down in your notebook. This is the first important point. The next important point is when the point is in front of VP or behind the VP. So here we are using first quadrant that's why we'll use a term in front of VP. So now this point is present in front of VP. So this distance is visible from the top view only. From the front view this distance is not visible. This distance. That's why you can note down the second important point. Distance from the VP is related to the top view only. Till now we have discussed two important concepts. First one, the distance from the HP is visible from the front view. And second thing is that the distance from the VP is visible from the top view only. So these two terms are very very important. I have prepared this table for you so that you will have the understanding or sometimes students get confused or they don't able to imagine the required condition. So for them if you remember this table only it will be definitely benefit you to identify the locations of the point. So first we understand first row is HP. HP means horizontal plane. So it represent the front view only. Why it represent the front view that we have seen in the previous slide. Till now if you don't understand I request you to rewatch it again and then you come to this slide. So for the HP front view is only related. So there are three possible positions of the point. First one is above HP. Second one is below HP. And third one is in the HP. So as per that we have to represent it in the two dimensional that is along the x y line. Well while solving the problem we will see that how we can represent when the point is above HP. So you should draw the object above x y line. When the point is below HP you should draw the object below the x y line. And when the point is in HP you should draw the point on the x y line. Okay. So in this way you should remember these three conditions above below and in the HP. When the point is in VP, so it is related to the top view only. So when it is in front of VP, you should draw the point below XY line. Remember this. When the point is behind VP, we should draw the point above XY line. Only we should draw it above XY line. And when the point is in VP, you should draw the point in the XY line. So these six lines are very very important. If you know this line you can solve any kind of problem so you should remember it or during the exam you can prepare this table and you can solve this question or around 10 to 15 marks and you can easily clear this subject getting so for that remember this table write this table take a printout of this line and paste it in your room and always remember all these six conditions so we'll use one example to demonstrate this thing a line ab is 70 mm long so length of line ab is given so this 70 mm is called as a true length of the line 
the actual length of the line is 70 mm. Makes an angle 30 degree with the HP and 45 degree with the VP. Point A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projection of line. So for this kind of problem, we'll first draw the XY line. So it is a horizontal line. We'll write the name X and Y. And then we'll draw one line which is perpendicular to this horizontal line. Now on this line, we'll locate this point. For that, we'll utilize the table. We'll not going to imagine, we'll directly utilize this table. So point A is 10 mm above HP. So HP means it represents a front view. Above HP means above XY line. Simply we have to take this distance 10 mm above this XY line and mark the point. So this is 10 mm above XY line. The next point is 20 mm in front of VP. The same point is VP in front of VP means below XY line. So below XY line measure 20 mm and mark the point. So in this way we have marked the point in the front view as well as in the top view. So for the front view we will use a notation called as dash means A dash, B dash and for the top view we will use the notation A, B, C, D all small letters. So here it is front view so we will represent it with the help of A dash and here we will represent the top view with the letters small a. Okay, And we will draw two lines passing through A dash and A. These are the reference lines. So this should be your first step. First, identify the location of points A and B. So line name may be AB, may be PQ, letters may be used. So every line has two endpoints. So you should represent those two endpoints with the help of this table. Now the function of this table is over. We can remove it table. Okay, then it makes an angle 30 degree with the HP. So this is the HP plane and measure than angle 30 degree from A dash point and this is 30 degree angle so draw one line now on this line we'll draw the true length of line ab so mark 70 mm on this line so mark the 70 mm with the help of compass and this is the true length of the line 70 mm no need to write 70 mm See, simply you are you can write tl here tl means true length this angle should be 30 degree and this length should be 70 mm now the name of this point will be b1 dash why dash because we are in the front view that's why dash notation should be used here so after a the end point of this line should be b so first point represent b1 dash now from this b1 dash we will draw one horizontal line this is called as a locus of b dash again this is very important we'll discuss afterwards when it is required so first we'll draw a line at an angle of 30 degree with the hp then mark the true length of the line then we'll get the point b1 dash so on this from this point we'll draw a horizontal line it is called as a locus of b dash again next value is given is 45 degree with the vp so from a point we'll draw a line at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal and on this line we'll mark 70 mm again because in the front view and top view both the lines are true length that's why 70 mm will be marked on this line so this is 70 mm line and this is the true length of the line now this point is called as a b2 point already here we have mentioned b1 dash so it, this point should be b2 so proper notation should be utilized while drawing this projection of lines so from this point b2 will draw one horizontal line it is called as a locus of B. So on the front view we have got locus of B dash and on the top view we have got locus of B. So these two lines are again very important. Till now what we have done we have plotted first point A dash and A. As the location of point B is not given we have not used it. We have only utilized point A dash and A. After that some angles were given with HP and VP. We have drawn that then we have plotted the true length on those lines and in the front view we have represented as a b1 dash and on the top view we have represented as a b2 then we have drawn locus of b dash from b1 dash and locus of b from b2 from this b1 dash point draw one vertical line this line should meet a point line as this is a b1 dash when it comes to the front view we called it as b1 so this is b1 and this length a b1 is called as a plan length don't 
project any other point will project only b1 dash in the downward direction after that keeping a as a center and a b1 as a radius will draw one arc i will repeat a as a center and a b1 as a radius will draw one arc like this and at a point where it intersect with the locus of b will call this point as point b and a b is called as a top view of the line okay i will repeat the step will draw one vertical line from b1 dash in the downward direction and will get the point b1 where it intersect with the horizontal line a after that keeping a as a center and a b1 as a radius will draw one curve in the downward direction where it intersect with the locus of b will get the point b will connect the point a and b will get one line this is called as a trough view of the line ab very simple procedure just you have to follow the steps now the angle between this horizontal line and the top view is called as the angle beta phi is the angle of line with the hp and beta is the apparent angle made by the top view with the x y line or the horizontal line in this way we can draw the top view now to draw the front view what we will do we will project the point b2 in the vertical direction so project the point b2 in the vertical direction until it intersect with the a dash line so as it intersect with the a dash point we will get the point b2 dash and this length a dash b2 dash is called as a elevation length or front view length getting okay. what you have done we have projected the point b2 in the vertically upward direction until it intersects with the a dash line we get the length elevation length now keeping a dash as a center and a dash b2 dash as a radius will draw one curve in the upward direction so this is the curve drawn as a dash as a center and we get the intersection point with the locus of b dash so this point is called as a b dash point when we connect a dash and b dash we get the front view length so this is the front view length and the angle made by the front view line with the x y or the horizontal is called as the alpha angle so alpha and theta both are different angles so alpha is angle made by a dash b dash with the horizontal and theta is angle made by the line with the hp so these are the basic difference between them okay so i will go through the process again because this question is very very important your failure or success in the exam is determined by this problem so i give that much importance to this problem so first after drawing the true lens a dash b1 dash and a and b2 we'll project this b1 dash point on the a point okay then keeping a as a center we will draw a curve keeping a b1 as a radius and we get the intersection point here this is called as point b and this is the top view of your figure of your line then we'll project b2 in the upward direction to a dash line we get b2 dash then keeping a dash as a center and a dash b2 dash as a radius we will draw one curve here we'll get the locus of point b dash so connect a dash and b dash will get the front view length so this is how we have to follow the steps to get the front view and top view of the line then i will give you some tips to you so see this point b and b dash they lie on a same line so they lie on this vertical line so you can utilize this condition to draw the lines because different conditions were given in the exam so this condition is very important p and b dash they always lie on a single line so once you plotted b dash you can easily plot b because it is on the same line if you know the locus of b so we'll see different example afterwards how we can use it now this distance between a dash and b dash horizontal distance between a dash and b dash and a and b is called as a distance between a and projector so such condition is also given in the exam sometimes they give you distance between the end projector so for that you can utilize this condition a dash b dash and a b and you can draw the projection of line in exam you should have the clear understanding of which point will intersect with which point what are what is front view what is top view what is alpha and beta 
so if you know all those things you can easily solve this example it is not that difficult some conditions some problems may be difficult but most of the problems are easy if you have the clear understanding of this figure you can draw this figure for your reference in the exam and then from that you can achieve the required projection of line i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you thank you very much